time to cry, time to cry, Life is Strange, Episode 5. Episode 5 of Life is Strange 2 is out right fucking now. I already bought it and downloaded it. I'm so excited and hyped. I've been playing this shit for so long. It's finally gonna end here and now. Never mind, that bar's not gonna load. Oh, there you go. Last episode was Faith, Dust to Dust. Say it was loaded. It's loading. If you're just watching this for the, uh, for episode 5 content, let me show you guys my choices. Uh, yeah, if you guys actually want to pause and look at my choices, you can do that. Episode 3 was wild, dude. I found, like, my favorite song ever, Dance by Justice, in that episode. And I love this song a lot. Sorry, Cassidy. I was freaking out most of the time at the end of that episode. The last episode 4. Loved this episode. It was... It felt short. It felt really short, you know, compared to episode two, for example. Episode four was really short, and it was very weird. All right, let's continue. I'm gonna mute my mic for the uh, bit right here where it's gonna tell what happened last time. I'm gonna mute my mic. I'm also chewing gum, so sorry about that. freaking out hard love the series so much I love it I like this way more than I liked oh my god life is strange one or just life is strange I'm not sure life is strange one it was very cool you had the powers you controlled everything but this just feels more emotional and I, I love it all right uh, time to shut up now probably Once upon a time, in a wild, wild world, there were two wolf brothers living in their home lair with their papa wolf. They lived in peace until hunters took their dad away. The wolf brothers wandered for days and nights, learning how to live on their own for the first time. That's when the big brother discovered that the little one was not an ordinary wolf, but a super wolf. They decided to head south to the distant land of their ancestors. But the journey was long and dangerous. Still, the wolf brothers made new friends on the way. They learned more about the world, but danger seemed to always follow them. After a bad accident, they were separated. The big brother had been hurt, and the hunters finally captured him. They put him in a cage, but when he finally escaped, he went to search for his little brother. He soon found out that the little wolf had joined a coyote cult, and he would not leave them. Suddenly, their mother showed up. After all that time, she said she came to help rescue him. They begged the coyote leader, but she would not release the little wolf. He was their idol. So they had to knock her out to escape. 
The Wolf Brothers, now reunited, followed their rogue mother far into the desert to her hideout. Alright, my change is a story based game that highlights the player's choice. Like, as soon as it said the part where, like, the little wolf was different, I actually had to go do something. So I missed actually all the recap until it said the wolves had to knock the coyote out. Mic mute. Wake up, Sean. Mm. Dude, come on. What? What time is it? Get up. It's so beautiful. Check it out. So? Yeah, okay. Good call. Wow. That's amazing. I know. Is your eye okay? Yeah. It just itches. It's okay, Nano. I... Promise. Yeah. Uh, okay. I love you. No matter what happens. You hear me? Yeah. I love you too. Brothers, always. So, are you still having those bad dreams? You know, about Lisbeth? Yeah. Sometimes I feel like she's around, coming after me. It's scary. Dude, I bet she's having nightmares about you. Yeah, but she's still out there. Somewhere. Creeps me out. Listen, we're far away from her, okay? We're together again. Safe. Hope so. Sean. Are we criminals now? No way. We did exactly what we had to. If the cops catch us, we'll be judged for what we did. That's for sure. Yeah. I know. 
Well, we're almost at the border. Finally. I like it here, but we'll have to leave soon. I know. I'm sorry, Anna. Sean, I know it's been a long time. Can you tell me the rest of the wolf story? Oh. Yeah. I can tell you. Been forever since we left off. Way too long. Hmm. Let's see. Oh, yeah. Okay. So, thanks to their mama wolf, the wolf brothers barely escaped from the coyote cult. She led them to her secret lair, deep in the red desert. The wolf brothers rested for a while, but at some point, they'd have to continue their journey south. They were closer than ever to their father's land, but between them and their destination, Lied. A mighty fire unicorn. <laughs> but she's nice, so they become friends. <laughs> uh, um, excuse me, who's telling the story? You are, but it's my story too, right? <laughs> yeah, that's true. Okay then, so what happens next? They, they arrive in Mexico, but the country is rampaged by goblins. Together, the wolves and the unicorn manage to slay them and become heroes. The police forgives them, and all their friends come to Mexico to celebrate. <laughs> yeah. Sounds pretty good, and I know. Let's pack this shit up and head back to town. Gotta clean up our stuff before we leave. And this place is too All pretty. Right. So incredible to Just see saying. all those stars and planets up close. <laughs> it's like we're right there. I feel like the the whole country is filled with goblins. I hope we can go like watch the stars foreshadowing. Again. Mom said there's a moon eclipse coming up soon. <laughs> I'm in. This place is cool. I could just move here. Hey, I can help. Just tell me what you want to put in there. You are the man. Um, food containers, soda, yeah, flashlight. Anything behind us? Nah. Get that food Can't container for me, bro. That food was amazing. Thanks, Joanne. Yeah, thanks, Joanne. Let's clean up this mess. Daniel. My brother. Not if it cleans up by itself. Stop. Daniel. Can't catch it, huh? <laughs> no shit. Now cut it out. Jeez. You're no fun. I've always been a bit of a... Um, you know... <gasps> control. With great power comes great responsibility, guys, so far Ooh, in the game. Sketching time. Good idea. Hell yeah. I'm glad you can still draw after. You know. <laughs> Me too, Daniel. But if I can see it in my mind, I'm I way. can still sketch anything. Mm. Almost. Yeah. That's so cool. I don't want you to stop drawing. Ever. <laughs> Thanks, man. This is so cool. Hmm, pretty good. But I can add more details if I want. Details if I want, <laughs> yeah. My back hurts a little. I'm glad we're sleeping in our bed tonight. Yeah. Wow, that's some detail. Fuck. Hey, can you draw me as a superhero? Like, striking a pose over the canyon. Hmm, I can try. Badass or chilled? You gotta be vibing, Ruff man. looks cool, but messy. Should I keep going?
He's vibing. Tada. Finished. Let me check it out. Oh man. I do oh, look like a mighty superhero. That's so cool. Yeah, he vibing. Like the sketchbook. Can't forget that. It's a soda Yo, done Captain you. Can, can you take these away? Sure. And no funny business. Of course not. Perfect formation. Thank you. I thought you'd be an asshole about it. Fling him or some shit. I don't know. Bit of a dickhead, you know? Yep. <laughs> I swear Dad had <laughs> the so same book in the garage. Yeah. I think he did. Why did he never show it to us? Maybe it reminded him of mom too much. Oh. Yeah. Right. And you know the light pollution. There would be no fucking stars. I would see what we got actually in here. Wow. I love these drawings so much, dude. They're so good. The well, first one's messy and stuff. And the second one, you know, it's better. 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 Pretty good. Dude, that's, that's really good. Holy. Oh my god, this is. What the. And this is definitely the best one. Haunts me, cool. How'd you get a letter from Cass? You in the middle of fucking nowhere? It's the Ventavis I remember. Elizabeth for weeks. Still feels guilty about the guy. He finds what's this. Cool camp spot which Okay, so this is don't fall mate. <laughs> uh it's in the ground, it's like don't fall mate. <laughs> Probably the best view ever. Gonna stargaze all night thanks to Arthur's telescope. Daniel seems happy. And there's our drawing. Very nice. Activate flashlight. Get the flashlight. On the way. <laughs> that was a weird pause, won't lie. Well, let's hit the trail, cowboy. You good, Daniel? What are you doing? What the fuck, Don't do dude? That. Don't do that. What's wrong? Stop messing with it, man. Yeah. That's not cool, man. Right. That's a living thing. Sorry, little guy. Don't get eaten by eagles. Do eagles eat scorpions? No idea. <laughs> cool. Let's go. I didn't even know what the other option was. I was just like the first one that said no, stop. I clicked that one because that's not cool. I wish we saw more falling stars, or any. <laughs> hey, we saw the Milky Way, dude. How cool is that? Yeah, that's true. And Mars. That was so cool. Arthur and Stanley let us use the telescope. Hey. Yeah. See this? What the? <sighs> Looks like the ones you did back in that cabin. When you got sick. Oh. Totally. Wait. Does 
Does that mean other people were here? Of course. Maybe someone from away did it. Oh, I bet it was Joanne. Uh, where were we? Yeah, these guys are real cool. Damn, you're fresh, man. Look at that shit, bro. He just gone up, lean on it like it's nothing. Best curries. Sorry, hippies, we gotta pay. Still gotta pay for our candy. Um, I'm gonna flush right. Heads are gonna be like yours after all this hiking. I think Joanne will let me help her with the sculpture when we get back. Hell yeah. You're like the magic assistant. It's nice to be able to use my power out here. Not hide it. Yeah. Karen was right. They're all cool with it. Mom doesn't say much about my power. Why do you think? Yo. Mom has powers. She's... She's just confused, probably. Um, confused. Like, what do you mean? She's my mom. Okay. Sorry. So, well, you know... I mean... She hasn't seen you for years. Not sure she can... Deal with all of this at the same time. Huh. It must be weird for her. <sighs> I hear you. Great discussion about the weeds game. Alright, nothing down we here. We can see the whole world up here. Any of it? <laughs> We're hmm. so far from a Now what the hell is that? Everything is far away up here. Daniel! Daniel? Give me the shiny object. I see something behind this rock. Can you bring it over? Ah, oh, gotcha. I see. Here it comes. Oh, look at that. So cool. Yep. We're taking this treasure. Awesome, new souvenir, which means achievement. I'm really stuck at finding these, I won't lie. So here's what I got so far. This one called Wolves. Run. I don't like running in this I game. I wish I had the power to fly. It'd be such a short hike. He'd be super fat. Hey, That's why I don't you know like see having a trailer flying. Out here? <laughs> who? Who? Oh, oh! Oh, man. So many wolves in this desert. <laughs> anyway. What I was saying is, <laughs> Brody, he'd love it. Like, he could have his own radio station and everything. Yeah, definitely. It would be so cool to have him around. <laughs> I miss him sometimes. <laughs> Fuck, dude. I was getting off the swings earlier and this shit hurt. <laughs> you just jump down. You know, I could have done it by myself, right? Hey, let me be the cool, helpful big brother once in- Oh, look, look, oh man, I just saw a cool baby lizard. Yeah, and you scared it. <sighs> I know. Dickhead, honestly. <laughs> Looks like a job for our local super psychic boy. I'll get out of your way, Super Dan.
So, maybe you can help us get out of here? Mm, I'll try. Step back. Be super careful. There you go. I hope it's okay. <laughs> nice, man. Did his eyes just get really blue? I'm not sure why he like blew it out of the way. I would just like made it fall off the side. <laughs> Alright though. It's whatever. See what Joanne is doing. <laughs> Go for it. I have to bring back the telescope to stand there. Went to town for weekly supplies. Some pancakes left in the kitchen? <laughs> back soon. Daniel, you copy? Yes, I read you. 10-4. I have a pancake alert in the kitchen. Repeat. Pancake alert. Oh, man. Sorry. I was gonna eat with Joanne. Over and out. 10-4. No flying pancakes today. It's nice to play games with Daniel again. <laughs> Karen likes to join us, too. Still can't believe she's kept it. That's really cute, dude. Daniel stuff. Nice mess. <laughs> Daniel will never change. I remember those pun cones. Karen did help us a lot since she found me and Daniel. Hmm. Better late than never. I have a thousand dollars. I'll take the USB stick one up. Karen sends this to Claire and Steven. <laughs> Great husband sell down to breed. Well, your daughter. Just your daughter. She's really good at Rewriting her own life. This one's pretty intense. I think I get it. Either Karen was desperate for a job, or she loved working with kids. <laughs> K. 
Karen has been camping in her own house since we arrived. I do remember Karen would drown her pancakes in hot sauce. Ugh. In Gross. what, my motherfucker? I'm so glad Jacob and his sister are doing okay. They deserve some peace. Oh. Oh, there was another half? Was there? <laughs> so cute. <laughs> Looks like Lila has some competition now. Sarah Lee. Karen looks so young and fragile on this picture. Hmm. Hard times. <laughs> Karen doesn't even like to leave this place just to go sh Looks like they all finally found their home. Yeah, I'll look at the poem. Karen must have been so excited to finally hit New York. So good to have a home. Again. And a real bed. Ooh, Cassidy's loved her. Didn't realize how much I miss Cassidy's voice. And her songs. And... Hola, sexy oh, boy. Dude. Jake hooked me up with your P.O. box, so now you can't hide it from the old crew anymore. I know you took off from the hospital, and I'm so glad you're still going out to Mexico. We've all been fugitives on the run, but you and Daniel are the kings of the road. I hope you finally get back home. Of course, I'm not ready to settle down just yet. We're all hanging out in Colorado. The idea is to trying to get as far as away from the West Coast as possible. Too many ghosts for now. Hard to believe Finn isn't here to start shit. And we don't miss him for that. But, but he'll get a few songs out of me. We all want to remember him for his angels, but not his demons. I miss you. I would love to take a, a road trip out of this shithole and... It'd be great to swim with you again. So, better let... You better let me know when you hit Mexico. Sean, don't make me track you down. Here, I'll give you my number, so no more excuses. Love, Cassidy. Should I call that number right now? Because, like... I don't see the point not to. One, eight, oh, three, five, five, five. Oh, so it's fake already. When they do five, five, five like that, it's usually fake. South Carolina number? Okay. Or code you have dialed is incorrect. Yeah, didn't think so. Usually when the middle three numbers are 555, five, five, it's, it's not real. Oh. A fan. Man. I'm still not used to this heat out here. Awesome. We're, we're going to do that last, so don't worry. Hey, trust Dad was an absolute fan of this movie. Huh. Super Cabra Maybe from they were nerds space. together. Ooh, she changed uh, my bra. diapers, but it feels kind of awkward to be here. Ooh. <laughs> Gotta keep my eye lube handy. I'm glad I don't need it as much. Yeah. Ugh. I wish Karen didn't tell me she got a rattlesnake out of the toilet last week. <laughs> wow. I thought it said shake clamp, not a uh, snake clamp. I was like, Brody's so good at describing painful situations. And seeing Oh, it's Brody! Into. Oh, yeah, dude.
Yeah, I ghosted her. But so glad to see Lila's back. What's Karen doing? No, Karen takes on some small piece works for a living. Asshole. Must pay better Who's than Who's USB? Whoa. Hey, Dad. Lila always knew how to crack me up. Is that it? Oh, the USB stick was not... I, I mean, it was just... I've waited for that so long, and it was so little, you know. Karen I practices know where he is. what she preaches. She barters with her food, not money. Water tank. Water management is kind of a big thing around here. I, I don't even know where he is. Oh, I can just call him. Come in. You copy out there? Over. 10-4. Told you I'm with Joanne. So, come on over. Yeah, okay. Pretty smart. You're never gonna run out of sun in the desert. See anything really cool? I mean, I want to look at this. So, swap box. It's so cool that people want to give a second life to their stuff. Cool. We oh, helped Joanne set up this giant vacuum with binoculars, as David calls it. Love the energy out here, with everyone building stuff as they please. This is a very cool place. Cars! Guess people came here with these and never left. Okay, scary. Junk. This place is the ultimate playground for Daniel. Yeah. Show you. Look at this speaker. Joanne can throw a total rager out here, <laughs> but without asshole neighbors. Yeah, it tickles in my fingers. Almost. There's power cuts all the time here, but no one's really bothered it. by it. <laughs> Thanks. Oh yeah, I'm carrying on to the uh, thingy telescope. Glad Don't to see that already. artists are allowed to make a mess. Woo! I'm <laughs> gonna a little bit of a spin there. <laughs> Looking at this place, I see that Karen really wanted to get away from it all. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> Dude, remember when you totally fell asleep during that Bollywood flick? Cool <laughs> Whatever. You missed Priya and Stanley teaching me how to dance. No, I didn't. You can't dance, dude. <laughs> That's so cool. I thought it was gonna just be like him sitting there. He did actually pull out the walkie-talkie, but here's the ultimate test. Morning, Sean. Morning, guys. Oh. Got you something. Here's your telescope. Hey, what's up? Morning, Sean. Join us. Have a seat. Hey, just in time for our special desert brew. And dust free. Thanks. So much. Sean, it's too early to be so awake. No kidding. Hey, how was your sleepover in the canyon? 
Amazing. We watched the sunrise. Daniel loved it too. That's my favorite view out here. It's like ancient times, but it never gets old. Unlike us, darling. Ooh. And can you be here long after we're gone? Hope you looked up. We did. Thanks for hooking us up. <laughs> Anytime. Even my daughter Becky loves to stargaze when she visits us. That's the only way to get Arthur to camp now. Becky is the real astronomer in the family. Wonder where she got this. From her mom, probably. Hope you guys get to meet Becky. Does she come visiting often? <sighs> Not as much as I'd want. Can't really blame her. But you know, well, some parts of the year this place is full of friends and family. Christmas, for example. So, why did you come out here? Because we got tired of people's bullshit. Things change. But being gay is still dangerous. The end. Sean, I'm almost 60, and I was a happily married man for 20 years. Until I came out. I don't blame my family for being in shock. But I didn't think they'd disown me. My other daughters won't even talk to me anymore. So I stay. <sighs> After we got together, we both had serious breakdowns. Then we got the hell out of the Bay Area. For the better. <sighs> the Arcadia Bay Area? I'm just so fucking tired of running. I hope me and Daniel find our own... away. You will. People come here to reset their life become the person they want to be, or used to be. You're smart. You'll figure out your next direction. Right, Gramps? Speak for yourself, Grandpa. My body might be 59, but I'm 25. <laughs> Hell yeah, uh -huh. look at him. I'll remember that on the next hike. I'm gonna see what Daniel's up to. Thanks for the All desert, right. bro. I'll remember that next time we fuck. Please do remind me of Clarence. <laughs> I'd rather not answer. Whoa! That. In a weird Alexa. hippie version. Shut up. <laughs> well, turn that way the fuck down. In case that happens again. Yeah, I'm my way, bitch. Hey, Zoom. Sean. What were you doing at Oscar and Stanley's place? You're a little too young to be stalking me, dude. Um, you know what? I saw them kissing the other day. Kinda weird. You know it's actually normal for people in love to kiss, right? I know. I just mean, they're really cute together. I hope somebody cares about me like that when I get old. But hey, artist, come by Joanne's place. We're making wild sculptures. <laughs> What's up, Joanne? Well, are you now? See what the yourself? fuck's going on here? Yeah, you heard you're making wild out. sculptures. Okay, Daniel, let's take a little break. Got it. That child is something special. Yeah, I hear this one a lot. Don't worry. Mm, yeah, I bet. <laughs> but you have your own talent, Sean. I'm dead serious. It's nothing special compared to what he has. Well, what he has is some next level sci fi shit, Sean. You can't compare yourself to him. None of us can. But what you have is a precious gift that will guide you through this cosmogonic mess if you let it. Did you always want to be an artist? <laughs> Good grief, no. I tried very hard not to be one. Till I realized it was useless. Listen, if you want to be an artist, you will be. It's not always easy, but in the end, it's pretty fucking cool. Speaking of, do you mind giving me a hand here? Oh, uh, I don't know if I can. Yes, you can. I just need your input, okay? 
Okay. okay. Sure. Why not? Ah, uh, there you go. Now, go stand over there. Daniel, you ready to start again? Oh, yes. Hold on. So, for my next trick, I'd love to see if you can connect these three pieces. I've made a model of what I have in mind here, but go ahead and be the artist. And we don't need a crane to lift this stuff. <laughs> Daniel can snap these together like block toys. Hell yeah. Let's do this. Alright, so... Stop. Alright. So we got box, circle, that one, and the head? Yeah. Maybe yeah. that's supposed to represent the earth. Or a ball. <laughs> Looks like a freaking steampunk spider. Ready, Sean? Yeah. <laughs> okay, Daniel. Can you slam dunk the earth ball onto the base? What? Be careful, Daniel. To get her? Oh, you should totally do like the model, but with the spider on top. Try. I'm looking around, see if there's anything cool. Secrets, you know? That's pretty fucking cool. Now, let's throw on that spider. Sweet. Hmm. Now, let's move. Mr. Pancake's head onto the pedestal. There he goes. <laughs> okay. How about turning that pancake head? Totally. That looks pretty good. Look at this bad boy one more time. Whoa, okay. Oh, I can move around. Um. Yo, can you turn that, that, um, uh, Spider thingy around? See, Sean. Hmm. Maybe give that spider another twist? Check it out. <laughs> oh, it's all like that. Feel like we're almost done. Well, I think this is it. Looks good to me. Only if the muse approves. Not what I had in mind, but it's still cool. <laughs> you did a great job, Inanna. Well, Sean, Daniel, I think art might be in your family DNA. There's no escape. I think we're done for the day. Thank you so much for your help. Okay. That was fun. Joanne is so chill about her art. That's what makes... That's cool, Joanne trusted me to help I build her I sculpture. Like it, it's kind of like this. Yeah, I've read about it. It's a, a video game, right? Yes, and you can build whatever you want in it. Ooh, you have to show me then. Precarious patriot, shrouded in dust. 
Oh me Minecraft. I wanna play Minecraft. Ooh, politics. Yeah, you hate it. You okay, Joanne? You good? Yeah, as fine as frogs here, sweetie. I, I like to take a good look at a piece after I'm done working on it. Uh, it helps me connect with it. Cool. Honey, the f well, it's facing over there. Thanks for letting me be a part of it. Oh, thank you, Sean. See you around, hon. Yeah. That's it. Again. This place is such a trip. It's kind of like a desert mirage. You think you can see it, but the closer you get, it changes. I thought the people here would be like freaks, but they're just sick of the bullshit. Now I sound like a local. I guess I'm always going to be a visitor. Very cute, but I noticed it actually showed <laughs> me. To the what the fuck are you running. doing up there? Copy. I hid something super cool for you to find. Will you accept this quest to find my secret treasure? <laughs> Ten four. Okay, you're on it, Anno. If I can find you in a forest, I can find anything. Yes! Thanks, Sean. Listen carefully. You must find the two items that will reveal where the treasure is. Deal. So, for the first item is near the place with many wings that cannot fly. That's... that's it. That's... Your clue? You can do it, big brother. <laughs> I hope. And don't bother checking mom's trailer. It's outside. If you go too far, you lose your walkie-talkie signal. Getting warm. These guys are like social directors here. I still love to party. Hmm. You're in the middle zone. You're warm. Hey, they're leaving the hot zone. Oh, am I? Just grab it. You're here. You're way out there. Huh. You think they picked this up at the gas station? I hope not. It's too cute. <laughs> Looks like Brody, the bear. I sure wish we had him around now. He was a good guy. Look at that. I thought there was only vultures in the desert. Now you're totally frozen. Bro! This part of town is dead this time of year. Yeah. I should stay around here. Way cold. Nope. As cold as ever. Yo, can you give me that last hint? 
there's a building that will blow you down. Warm. What is this? Ahoy, matey. I found a map of a way. Yeah. Don't lose it because you'll need it to match up with the other part. <laughs> Got it. Now, arr, for the second item, you'll need to find something that eats the sun. Uh-huh. Sure. You're warming up. Not too far. Hmm. <laughs> You're in the middle zone. Getting closer. Not too far. Oh man, you're right there. Just look around. It's the sun. Like it num 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 gobbles it up. So we're there. I think. Well, cars are it's the circle thing. Found it. Nice. And it's a tracing paper sheet with a red cross. Yeah. Now just match up to the other paper. And the treasure is yours, Captain Diaz. Oh hoy, matey. I think I have the whole treasure map. Dude, we could put red food coloring in the water and turn this into a blood tank. Yeah, but then everybody would freak out. Plus, you can't do food coloring out here. <laughs> You're in the middle zone. No, I'm not. I know exactly where it is. It's close, Sean. Pick up. Is this gold? What the hell? Ooh, looks like something's buried here. A gold medallion. <laughs> yes. I think I have found the hidden treasure. <laughs> yeah. I knew you could do it. I found this under an old trailer. Looks like gold, right? Um, I'm not a prospector, but it looks like the real deal. Store! You know what time it is. Victory! Dance time! Do Fortnite dance. Oh, Come ooh, on. ooh, kill! <laughs> Fucking break it down. Ooh. <laughs> yeah. Ah. Ooh, ooh. You asked ah. for it. Whoa. That was epic. I think you're spotting Mom's truck coming back. Mm. Yes. 100% her. Gotcha. We'll help her out with the groceries. I don't even know where the fuck she is. Where is she? She already home? Ooh, yes. Oh wow, that's way over there. Sand drawing. Fucking drift the corner. Truck. No matter what happened right. before, Karen did hook us up here. Hey, hey. Counts. good morning. <laughs> Howdy, Sean. Hey, what's up? I never How was the town trip? <laughs> Hate these trips. Look uh, people look at us as if we're aliens. Here come the sand people. <laughs> the deserters have returned with offerings from Das Kapital. Jolie! <laughs> <laughs> oh, I missed you. Next time, you're coming with us. <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> Looking good. What's your secret? 
defying death on a daily basis. And hide rating. Oh, right. You can't forget your goodies. Hey, thanks, Angel. Here. Ah, you're the man, Karen. Catch you later. Take care. Hey, so how did you guys like your night in the canyon? It was amazing. So amazing. many stars. And so quiet. Good call, Karen. I knew you'd like it, Stargazer. Glad you got to see that. Hi, Mom. How was the town? Town life always sucks. <laughs> but we got something for you. Think fast. Whoa, yes. Thanks, David. <laughs> you want to play catch, Danny boy? Totally. Me and Dad always used to play. But I'm way better now. Uh, shooting. No matter what he's been through, he just wants to be a kid <laughs> and play. Yep. Daniel hasn't been like this in forever. You've all been a good influence on him. About time you boys went camping. Hope Daniel didn't get scared by all the critters. Yeah, not anymore. He's seen a lot worse. And that made him tougher. And he can defend himself. You're right. And he does like to show off. Maybe too much. <laughs> You boys have been here over a month, and I still can't get over Daniel's <sighs> skills. Me neither, but I never figured it out, so I don't try anymore. Well, take it from an old soldier, but you trained him well. He's a good kid. <sighs> Thanks. I tried my best. <sighs> I guess it's reassuring. But what do I know? Never met someone with a superpower before. I try to be a good influence. Not always easy, but he listens to me. I don't know if I did right. Guess you never really know. <sighs> Listen, raising a kid is the toughest job in the world. Trust me, combat was easier. Oh. You didn't tell me you had kids. How many? <laughs> None. I was a stepdad. Or, well. in her case, a step douche. <laughs> what the fuck? I thought he was like really weird. I was like, holy shit, did I not say out loud why does this guy look so familiar? I said that out loud, like, I didn't just think it. I was like, this guy looks familiar. Stepdad, and I was like, oh, okay. Or in her case, step douche. Holy shit! What? <laughs> what the fuck? Now, at the start of the game, I said that I sacrificed Arcadia Bay. I sacrificed the bay. Chloe and Max live on. Before her mom died, we never got along. She was angry. I was stupid. We were like oil and water, and she was always starting shit. Guess that's hard for a kid to get a new father. Especially one like me. I just had no clue how to deal with her. Wish I did. But we eventually made our peace. Anyway, we can't go back. <sighs> nope. Thanks for talking, David. Better start my delivery now. Shit. Found some Please weird snacks in town. Shit, dude. Arthur's gonna freak. <laughs> They're called Choco Chris. Catch you later, Sean. <sighs> okay, time out. Oh my God, I'm gonna melt. That was awesome, Mom. Now I know why they don't play baseball in the desert. You throw way better than Sean. <laughs> <laughs> We're not done out here yet. Let's get this food inside before it melts. No problem. What the fuck, dude? Yeah, big dick syndrome so cool. now, bitch. You think? 
Joanne is so cool. Yo, let me control Sean. Stanley's let so me cool. control Sean. The heat is so Good cool. <laughs> You're way too easy, bro. Whatever. Can't help it if I like Terry. It's attached to his model. <laughs> just Somebody be you, my nano. Attached to his I'm model. just saying. Maybe. Don't get too cozy here. This is a rest stop. I know. <laughs> Ooh. See these pancakes. One thing Claire and Karen have in common: <laughs> their love for pancakes. Is he picking up the pancake to eat it? What the fuck? <sighs> Hope my cops will make it. <laughs> Me too. A new statue. <sighs> that woman is amazing. Admit, I do miss that Pacific Northwest weather sometimes. Yeah, I bet. <laughs> You've been here over a month now. What do you think of our little oasis? This place is like another world. Don't even know how to describe it. <laughs> I think you just did. It has a unique atmosphere. <laughs> That's why people come here from all over the country, for their own reasons. Not perfect, but it works. It is so peaceful out here. <laughs> Guess that's what everybody's really looking for. Peace. You're probably right. Yes, I still feel like we're really privileged out here. There's bad shit going on in this desert. <laughs> yeah. I don't think you can ever really get away from everything. You can't escape reality. Even here. We just live slightly apart from it. I couldn't live here for too long. It feels... disconnected. No, it's not Maybe what I'm I meant. Young. Oh, I understand. I would have. It's I was like, I not the starting here. point. It's, it's more a place to sit back and let go. Well, thanks for bringing us here. Oh, Sean. I'm glad I was able to help you. <laughs> By the way, can you grab your brother so we can all talk? Is everything okay? Uh, yeah, I just thought we could spend this day together. Just the three of us. Big brother to Superwolf. We need you at Karen's trailer. Copy? Sure. I mean, 10 4. <laughs> Hola. Hola, compadre. How about a trek around the canyon today? You in? Totally. Let's pack then. I don't know. There's usually one fucked up thing in episode. So a track around the canyon? Suspicious. That's all I'm saying. Alright, and with that, I'm gonna end this right here. This has been like over an hour. It's been, for me, it says an hour and nine minutes, about going on ten, you know? And I'm gonna end the, the live stream right here, or if you're watching this online. Or on YouTube, this is a, a VOD upload from Twitch. Thank you guys so much for watching. This has been a lot of fun. I freaked out when I saw David. See you guys next time. Peace out.